There is no enthusiasm among Croatians and this is shown in the very small percentage of those who took part in the voting. Uh, if Croatia would be in the fifth wave of enlargement, uh, if the referendum would be in 2003 and 2004, for sure uh, there will be much more enthusiasm and more people would vote in favor. Why it diminished? Uh, then I think it's uh, realistically uh, true that uh, the Croats have seen what happened to the others and that the fact is that all member states, new member states, are better now than before. But also a lot of those who had the dreams, their dreams are not fulfilled uh, fully. So I think that Croatian position, position of Croatian citizens is very rational. So yes, we want to be in EU, big majority wants to be in EU, but we we have no big expectations from that membership. Um, during accession talks, uh, our negotiation process took uh, too long, so we negotiated longer than anybody else from Eastern Europe. Uh, there were painful uh, reforms that had to be done, and uh, compared to the other countries, we had also an uh, issue of the war heritage, that means dealing with war crimes, repairing the country, new country which uh, uh, didn't uh, have sovereignty before. So all those uh, together had a kind of impact. Don't forget that all other countries from uh, Eastern Europe, with the exception of Slovenia or Croatia, had to go through transformation and membership in NATO and EU. But Slovenia and later Croatia had to go first through state forming, uh, then uh, Croatia had to uh, fight for its uh, uh, liberty, to liberate the country and then to reform and join EU. So uh, therefore we are uh, a single country joining EU, not in a group uh, and different from the others with a different background, but I think uh, uh, pretty ready to uh, share the responsibility as a full member of European Union.